<laughs> Hope I scared you. <laughs> I don't know about that, but I sure tried. <laughs> Let me get drink water here in my throat. Oh my goodness. Anyway, I just thought before we pour on this bowl, I would go ahead and show you some of my paintings I did last year. And I really love these. I resined this. This was on a canvas. <laughs> and uh, turned out pretty good. So it's kind of the same colors, I, but I think I did add a little yellow. This is all resin to canvas. These little stickers like, I actually cut that tree out, put that in there. <laughs> Forgot to take the little sticker off the back of the cat. You can see it, I should have done that, but I completely forgot. Anyway, that was really neat. <laughs> that was like a, a 12, 11 by 14, I think. And I did these little wooden pumpkins. I like them. I think I did these two years ago in my storage room when I was painting in there. <laughs> and then I think I did this one about two years ago too. But I did this one actually over a canvas. That was the neatest thing. It's just a... Look at that. That is so cool up there. So I'll show you the picture of the canvas. I had it on my Facebook. Uh, let me find that for you real quickly. Here is the skull. And I called this the pumpkin patch. So I just poured it over it. And look at that, it looks so cool. Isn't that cool? Oh, my phone's a mess, but yeah, look at it. Looks like a pumpkin patch. <laughs> that was pretty neat. I really loved that one. <laughs> I thought I'd share that. And then, and last but not least, This one is actually my very favorite. <laughs> I love this one so much. Oh, it's so cool. Carrie from K Carrie's Chaotic Creations was doing this. And uh, I learned this from her last year. This is so cool. Oh, she's got such great Halloween ideas <laughs> anyway this was um a canvas about an 11 by 14. you know what i almost forgot how i did this but i just remembered so yeah i think that's how i did come to think of it now Well, I'm having a hard time remembering. I'll have to find the video and post it in my description. But I think I poured on the canvas and then with like red, black, and white, got some cool cell action in there too. And then I think I poured on this separate. But it was like one of those plastic skulls, you know, and I cut it in half and then hot glue gunned it down to the canvas. And uh, yeah, I think that's how I did it. And attached some spiders and some made some worms in there with my hot glue gun was the worms. Look 
right there's worms the spiders is another worm another worm <laughs> and then I just painted his teeth and these were actually rubber balls from Walmart <laughs> and I painted the eyes and glued them in and then I poured resin on the whole thing so it's completely protected for a good lifetime <laughs> anyway I thought y'all might enjoy seeing all those so we'll get started here with the bowl okay <laughs> so here we go I have this bowl it was kind of scratched up a little bit like it must have been hand painted actually really pretty but some of the flowers are gone. I got it from Goodwill. And it's a nice big bowl. I thought it was perfect for candy for Halloween. <laughs> so uh, it's, I would say it's about eight, maybe about eight or nine. Yeah, nine wide. And then the length of it is about seven. I can't find my ruler, my tape measure now. So anyway, it's nice, big, perfect, I think. So I'm going to end up using this at the end to put it on to let it drip down. It always changes though. Now I'm going to do a technique I seen a gentleman that um, I'm friends with on Facebook and his name is Roy Smith. And I did a couple vases like it already and they turned out really cool. So we'll see if I can remember how to do it really. I can't remember too well, but I'm gonna just kind of guess and pour the colors on separately. But um, he, he's got a really awesome uh, Facebook page where he posts all his beautiful uh, pictures of his vases and stuff. So. I will give you a link to that so you can take a look at all his beautiful artwork, okay? And that will be in my description. But, um, so yeah, he inspired me to do it this way. Anyway, I thought I'd do some Halloween colors. I am using like a mustard yellow, I would say. Because I'm trying to use up all my bottles here so then they're not marked, so I can't really tell you exact. And this is some red. And I have orange. And I have dark purple. This I had to mix up. This is dioxazine purple. And then I have black. <laughs> so, and they're, I know they're mixed with two parts flow trial, one part paint and water. Hopefully they're not too thin because I don't like it when you do a vase with thin, thin paint. But anyway, we'll get started. I'm gonna moisten down the face just a little bit. Here we go. Here goes. See what I can. Look at my big crystal ball. No. <laughs> Looks more like a, a one of those eight balls <laughs> okay so we're gonna worry about the tips and everything because it'll get there just as long as it's covered you know that helps i'll put my hand in there that <laughs> here goes so this is not easy i can turn it though like this so i'm just gonna pour some black around on it
Bruce here. <clears throat> now I just let it drip. And some of those brown drips. the other finger. Hair purple. Just help that blend a little. There we go. That's neat. So it don't matter what it looks like down on the bottom. Just don't want it too thick. All right. So we'll be back to look at it after I let it drip. Okay, so this is super cool. It looks gory. It looks Halloween-y. That's awesome. So what I do is I just take a stick and I keep going around the bottom for, oh, like a half an hour maybe until it's just totally not dripping anymore. Until you don't see any drips. Okay, sorry if I'm not focused. I can't hold the phone and do this, let me see. All right, that is super cool, man. Stick out the top, oh, that's ugly. <laughs> You're right though, because it's not dripping, so that's cool kind of got a little hump so that's good you know a downward hump so let's take a look at this Spooky, you know. <laughs> oh, I'll use this every year. So that's super cool. So, so here we are with it standing up, and this is the way it's gonna look. It just darkened just a tad bit. Not much, look at all that beautiful green in there. That's so cool. There's the violet. Once I put the resin on it, it will really pop the colors again. But unfortunately, I can't show that to you until about a week. But I will show it to you then. Really neat. I love the rim. Okay, so cool. Yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> it's actually very pretty. It reminds me of a witch's bowl brew, you know, like her big old pot that she would stir in. <laughs> her magic potions and stuff. <laughs> well, that's it. Everybody, thank you for watching. Happy Halloween. And have a good one and a safe one. And I will catch you later. And make sure you have your notification bells pushed so you can see this with resin on it. Okay? When I come out in a week. Take it easy. Bye-bye now.